the most powerful church in whole Europe. The Kingdom Church presents Bishop Climate Ministries A place where the captives are set free and where the members are wealthy, healthy and wise. Your breakthrough is now. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Join the vision and be free. He turned around and said, knowing, knowing, knowing in himself that virtue power left him. He turned around, who touched my clothes? Knowing. Yeah. Verse 31 says, his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throwing thee, and thou and say, Thou who touch thee, who touch me. I think I've read that uh, King James very well today. Why don't you give Jesus a mighty of praise for that? that? That's a big triumph. Come on, your clapping is annoying. Sounds hallelujah. He says, and his disciples said unto him, Thou see, see the multitude thronging thee, and say thou who touch me. Verse 32 says, Who touched me? Who touched me? Touch. I wish we, we have a I mean, watch you now, watch you now, watch you now, watch you now. And he looked around to see how that had done this thing. How how did he know it was her? He, 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 the Bible says, and he looked around to see her, not, not to see who. No, 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 not to see who. To see what? Did he say who? If he say he turned around to see who touched me. But when he turned like this, he turned and saw her. Now, how did he see that? That is what we need to establish today. How did he hear? How did he see her? How do we know that? Look at this verse 30. Now look at verse 32 says. And he looked around to see how that had done this thingy. Thing. She, she done the thingy. Time to your neighbor said, neighbor, she did the thingy. Verse 33 says, But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her. We see the word knowing twice. Jesus, knowing. So, the woman is also, know what? Knowing. What was done to her came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. What truth? The whole what? Did he say he told her the, the story? What did he tell her? How many of you <laughs> did he say and he told her and she told him the whole story? What does the Bible say? Huh? Huh? Did she tell him about the story or the truth? So what is the truth then? Huh? The whole truth. Now watch here now. Verse 34 says, And he said unto her, Wait, daughter, daughter, that faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be in whole of thy plague. The woman was asking for wholeness. How did Jesus know that 
she needs to be whole and now this is the very strange thing here we go boom look at this verse 35 while he spoke there came from the rule of the synagogue as he was speaking whatever it is that is the end of that story now let's make let's let's make a quick calculation touch is close shall whole complete felt no touch what what do you think is going around here huh but what is the what is the what is the whole issue about this huh connection uh, how, how and how is that connection yes there's a connection and there is a uh, vibes going around that no one can see you with their eyes but they're doing wonders so if we were now to do a, 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 a mathematics what is the common de denominator into this uh, equation feel free to think you know what is that what, what do you come up with huh aha uh -huh, there you are today you're a professor <laughs> amen clap on right now that's what it is touch what, what do we come with what touch and what does the touch has to do with you, how many senses you have what is that what, what is what for touching is for what touch is for what is it for testing is it for hearing so what is it for so you can how can we know okay let, let me make it so simple how can we know what really what really validates touching huh? sensation uh -huh. now how many of you know you've been some you see somebody in the hospital and then the doctor start picking their leg tell them huh? can you what can you feel and that feeling can determine either you're going on a wheelchair or you're gonna go home walking <laughs> okay so so the, the answer to this is what feeling so actually all that miracle this woman received had to do with feeling and the feeling jesus translated as faith everything the answer the signs to this woman's healing had to do with feelings and this woman received instant healing total wholeness how by what talk to me by what no by feelings we just found the common denominator now you're busy taking us back again into the thing by what feelings so feeling was what was the key to ha huh? no can't your neighbor say feeling is your key to breakthrough tell your neighbor can you feel it ho oh, oh, ho i'm feeling <laughs> Okay, uh, if you don't believe it, here we go. I'm going to ask you a question. There you are in the hospital. The doctor comes to see you in the early morning rounds. What is the question they ask you? Aha, uh -huh, you see? How are you at? Did they ask you, how are you seeing? What do they ask you? You see, I, I'm trying to show you a better way to, hear, to, 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 to your breakthrough. Now, how many of you know, listen to me, everybody look at me. How many of you know if you're in a hospital, admitted in a hospital, and you say that you're feeling better, how many of you know you're one step towards going home? How many of you say that I'm feeling so bad? How many of you are one step towards the other mug? Now, <laughs> this, is, this is so amazing. So now, 
for all these years and i'm telling you one thing i've always told you one thing where is this duster thing you're supposed to where did i take it now now watch this now i'm telling you somebody here so now the reason why i want to be able to share this with you i am one of those people you know i'm a prosperity preacher i am a faith preacher i am a deliverance preacher name it all type of preaching all good stuff i'm talking about prosperity healing whatever it is but guess what I've learned throughout the years, just like Apostle Paul. See, Apostle Paul, when he began to write the epistles, he, he was not, you know, you know, sometimes you read one epistle, you read another one, it's got different stories. Sometimes we grow in faith. But some of us who are right now, there are people who refuse to go in faith. And guess what? Look here now. Everybody, one of the things that you hear, for example, with faith preachers, it has got nothing to do with your feeling. It has to do with faith and actually we missed it because actually it has to do with feelings. So Christians are feeling less people. And that is why it's so difficult for you to receive your miracle. Yet we say stand on the word. Stand on the word. Speak the word. But it has nothing to do with feeling. Uh, and, and I'll tell you one thing. Actually when you're telling you still, listen to me. This is so amazing. When we tell you, stand on the word, stand the word. As God, not, I'll preach that. I'll tell you then. I have preached that. I, I, I've been honest with you. I've really preached that. And especially for me, it was so easy to preach it that way. Because I'm a man. I was a man with no emotions, no feelings. So it was so easy. Am I speaking to somebody here now? Are you learning something here now? This woman miracle was based on someone say a better way. Say a better way. So now everything has to do with her. It has to do with what? Feelings. But now we have been brought up in such a way, but I, I want to correct something here. We have been brought up in such a way, you know, this has got nothing to do with feeling. This has got nothing to do with feeling. It has to do with the world. It has to do with the word. It has to do with the word. It has to do with the word. So at the end of the day, for us to travel to Camberwell here, we are first of all to go all the way to Edinburgh or all the way to Newcastle, all the way to Paris, and then come our way back again here. Then why do we have to go? Why don't we just get, a, get outside the turn left and we get? So actually, when they tell you what you know, when they're telling you, oh, you know one thing, stand on the word, that's got nothing to do with your feeling, actually at the end of the day, faith comes by what? And after some time, you start developing, developing what? The feelings about where it is. But you could have had your miracle a long time ago. Are you understanding that? So today I want to show you a shortcut. So why is so important? A man is a triplet. A man, just like we have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, a man is a spirit. He possesses a soul and he lives in a body for you to receive your miracle all this must work in one line all this has to be in one single line when your soul when your spirit your soul and body agrees then the supernatural power of god can come on your body and you can be healed. You understand that? But now, no one has ever listened to me. No one has ever known what really connects this. Because your spirit is not your body. And your body is not your spirit. And that is why when you die, you leave your body here. And your spirit goes. And your spirit is not your soul. And we're talking about here, we're talking about the spirit of man. Now we have the spirit of God here. And I'm going to write it in capital letters. Here. The spirit of God communicates to your spirit. It does not go over there. That's why anybody that God uses, first of all, 
he had, the Bible begins to tell us, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon them. How did the Spirit of God come upon their body? in miracles? The following program contains testimonies of true stories by people who have received divine healing and miracles through the ministry of Bishop Climate. They gave these voluntary without any directions from the Kingdom Church. We advise that you always seek medical practitioner's advice before making any decision based on this program. Thank you. Hallelujah. Men of God, we just want to thank God again for your, for the anointing that is upon your life. Mm. Healing, 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 healing. Healing has Jesus. taken place. Healing has taken place in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Mama here says that on Monday, this Monday gone, mm. uh, she came to church. She was in church, I do believe, for, for, the, for the deliverance service. And then even after deliverance, she stayed over in church for the midnight prayers. And then she went home. She said that she got home, she did her usual prayers and confessions that we have set aside for, the, for, for our seniors to do. And she did the confessions and she went to bed. She believes that she had a good night's sleep. But Tuesday morning, she woke up, man of God. She, she actually was having problems waking up. She had pain, serious pain all over her body from the top of her head, going all the way down her spine, her feet, and her hips. And, and, and even the battle, <laughs> even the battle, men of God. She says, sh huh? That's not sit. Uh, sorry, I wasn't sit. You could not sit. Could the battle was painting. And they, the battle and the hip. Mama says she could not sit. Since when? Since Wednesday, she could not sit. Now don't ask me if she went to the toilet. Now, I, am I speaking to somebody? You know, you know why I'm trying to say so? I know that pain. Listen, you know, you know why? I know that pain. You know why? If you've ever been stabbed, you know I've been stabbed on the back of I'm telling you, you cannot sleep this way. You So I, I know. Amen. Very painful. Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. So when I heard, I saw I know what she's feeling about. it was very painful uh. very painful uh. and and men of god she said that that pain uh. that body pain including the battle pain yes she literally cried she was crying literally men of god and at that point she phoned you she phoned you men of god to say men of god you are my men of god i am in pain i am in pain all over my body Men of God, you prayed for her. And do you know why I'm trying to say this? People have got no clue. That's Sometimes right. God will take you through situation. When she, listen, this is this is this woman is a mother to me. For her on the phone to tell me, Bishop, my battle. That's Ask right. her. Ask her if I'm lying. It's not a joke. Ask her if I'm lying. Do you not tell me about battles? <laughs> <laughs> for her. 
she's an African woman right. and I'm an African man. We, we, we don't have, when it comes to talking like that, is a taboo. But for her to tell me, my batok. No, she, shall, she should be in pain. Amen. Because for her, by her age and her being like a mother to me, she cannot, no, she cannot, though I'm a bishop, she cannot use those words. But for her, you even saw him, he's also another African man, he was trying to refuse to use that word. But since we've been talking, he's been getting courage and courage and courage and courage. Am I talking to somebody here? That's now? right, that's right. Now, for her, you know one thing, when she told me, Pastor, when she told me my battle, and she said that my batok, and she kept repeating my batok, my batok, my batok. I remember the pain that I went for three months. That's right. And when I was praying for her, I prayed from the deep of my heart. I says, no, mama, you cannot go through that pain. I know what that pain is. Amen. Sometimes we have not gone through some pain. You cannot understand what people are going through. But once you go through something, That's you right. can pray from the deep down in your heart. Amen. Pastor, I used to cry. And you know you have to go to school. That's right. And to school in Africa, you sit on those desks. Wooden. I try to, 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 to sit. That way, you cannot. You sit that way, one of it gets tired. It, it, it goes now. That's right. I went there for three months. Pain. And when she told me about it, in that phone call, tell me what happened, Pastor. Man of God, you prayed for her. Mm. You prayed for her. Man of God, that pain instantly disappeared. Man of God, it went. It just went. Yeah? When I pray, when you pray, after that, you told me to get up and start walking. Exactly. I did it. So I was okay. I was okay. And man of God, what? What she's actually saying that you said to her, you need to walk bricks briskly, not just ordinary walk, but very, very fast and, and vigorously. That is what you told her. And she did that, man of God, and the pain left. Because, you know, Pastor, when I was praying for I remember those three months, what I went through. I had to behave very well. I had to walk That's with right. all that pain. That's right. I had to sit well. I had to do everything. But what I was trying to say, now I have something better. Now there is a God in heaven. Amen. There is somebody here. I know you may say, oh, but prophet, whatever. It may sound so funny. Actually, it is very funny about the story. But for me, when mommy said that, to be honest with you, I felt the pain she was going through. Sometimes God would allow us to go situation. So when it comes time to pray for somebody or to help somebody, we'll go all the way through sometimes there's nothing wrong if you have not gone through the experience you may not understand you can pray but when you know what it is and the instant god completely healed her lift up your hands right now today god will see you through amen god will bless you amen god will prosper you amen receive in jesus name amen. pastor you know you don't know, know how god healed Yes, would we'll like to know, man of God. I watched a film called Rambo. Huh. And I saw what Rambo did. <laughs> Stretch up your right arm. <laughs> when it erupted. <laughs> Father, I'll give you praise. Another healing has taken place. Yes. This lady said, as she was sitting down there. As she was sitting down there today. Yeah, today in yes. the service. Mm. Yeah. And, and as she began to speak the word and say somebody's here is being released mm. then you laid her, your hands on her so she went under the anointing while she was there she felt like throwing up but she said it, it couldn't come out so she kept on like kind of swallowing it back then you kept on saying somebody here is being released then all of a sudden she felt like a, a pain kind of heat in her on, on her head on her forehead on her forehead and then you said again somebody here is being released and then gradually she felt the you mentioned headache somebody is being released of headache 
then she felt the headache being released gradually and as she stands here today she said the headache is gone the headache is gone it's gone come on shake your head let me see let me see let me see somebody give jesus a mountain of praise right now stretch up hands right now somebody is getting healed right now uh, there is no distance in prayer the bible says luke chapter 4 verse 40 when the evening was come they brought unto him that we are sick of all manner of sickness and diseases he laid hand on each every one of them god has anointed my hand uh, with the healing uh, that woman she, when i laid my hand on her she went under the spirit she started feeling like vomiting uh, which is a manifestation of deliverance and then suddenly she felt a heat on her forehead the headache that she had been having i don't know for how long is completely gone and she stands here to testify that there is a healing power in this place i need you to connect with this anointing wherever you are right now it is so important for you to show here physically uh, because god wants to set you free the bible says after the sunset they brought unto him all people that were sick of all manner of sickness and diseases laying hand on each every one of them can you imagine our lord and savior he had time to lay hand on each every one of them there are deliverance and healing that only takes place by the laying of hands not just by prayer on the phone but the laying of the hands and the bible say he healed each every one of them thank you for watching bishop climate tv i know you have been blessed here are four ways you can connect to the prophet today one Call now, 4420-8114-9390 for prayer. Two, come during free prophetic hour and meet the man of God personally. Every Sunday between 9 to 10 a.m., no appointment needed. Three, attend our powerful miracle services, Friday, 7.30 p.m., Sunday at 11 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. And four, visit our website www.bishopclimate.org or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Bishop Climate Ministries, a place where the captives are set free.